Hey guys, yeah, we're about to get an update from the Department of um, Emergency Services here in New Haven this morning. But what we know so far is that 13 people were evacuated as a result of this water main break, is what it started as and turned into a sinkhole. We're about to get that update right now. So I'm going to bring you over here. Stay with us right now as we speak with Rick Fontana. Can you give us an update? Yeah, good morning, everyone. Uh, just an update here for 312 to 316. Uh, excuse me, 312 to 316 Eastern Street. Well, we're dealing with a uh, pretty large sinkhole that occurred this morning from a significant uh, uh, water leak, uh, still being assessed by the uh, Regional Water Authority. Uh, but as you can see, uh, we've we've had to evacuate uh, six families from uh, from a building here that's kind of a. If you look at it, it's a commercial uh, on the bottom floor above it, and on the back side of it are uh, residential condominiums. There are a total of 40 units here. Just six are, are evacuated at this point uh, as a safety precaution. Uh, this is very active. It's a very serious situation here. With uh, the, the water has actually gotten underneath the foundation. Uh, it is draining off now, but water has gotten underneath the foundation, so we expect there to be some uh, structural integrity issues here. We have the building official uh, on scene. We have also the city engineer. Uh, as you can see, water. Uh, also, the gas companies here. We've shut down the, ga the gas lines. Uh, the problem was we couldn't get to anything. The water, uh, the water valve uh, broke as they were trying to shut it off, so we have uh, heavy equipment that will be responding here should be here in the next hour where the uh, crews can get to work and hopefully identify where this uh, large amount of water is coming. As you can see, we've got a sinkhole that uh, keeps getting bigger and bigger. Uh, at this point, it's about uh, 15 to 18 feet uh, long. It's about uh, 8 feet wide, and we're thinking it's about 8 feet deep as well. So uh, water and uh, silt has made its way down uh, down Eastern Street, uh, and again, this is just going to be an ongoing effort. And our, our you know, our, our our goal is to ensure the public safety. Uh, there is no uh, traffic that's going to be allowed here to disrupt uh, the ground at in any way, shape, or form. What is that process going to look like of trying to identify where this is coming from? Well, I, I, again, I think the process that we're going to be working with is is going to be making sure that we collaborate with the professionals from uh, from Regional Water Authority, uh, from the uh, gas company. We did have Greater New Haven uh, Water Pollution Control out here. Uh, we have determined it is water, uh, and again, it's going to take some time. So this is going to be, a, you know, I don't expect it to end today. Uh, but we're not going to allow people back in there until we get a good analysis to find out uh, how much damage the water has done. As you know, water finds its way uh, everywhere. How about the families uh, Red Cross called? Uh, what can be done for them? Oh, actually, we've uh, re reached out to uh, uh, LCI, which uh, comes in from the city of New Haven. Uh, they'll come in and do intake and work with them to get them someplace. Again, we don't know, you know, if this is going to be long-term uh, evacuation or it's going to be a shorter term. Just have we just don't have that information at this time. Were these families able to grab belongings before they had to get out, or was this quick? Well, initially it was quick. Uh, we've allowed uh, New Haven Fire Department has gone back in uh, with the individuals uh, to get you know some of their personal belongings. And again, you know, I, I, this is going to be some time, and there wasn't you know right now there's not a uh, I don't want to say there's an emergency, but. It's going to continue to eat away at the at the earth underneath this building. So, again, uh, I think as we go on, it might get worse uh, before it gets better. But in order to get the people in there, get some of their belongings, and 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 then of course evacuate back out. Do you anticipate having to evacuate more people then, if you're worried about it eating away underneath? You, you know, you know, at, at this point, we're we're going to continue. Uh, we're going to continue to assess uh, that situation. Uh, I. I it doesn't look like it will get into the other buildings at this point, uh, but again, it's still it's still early until we get that water shut down. But crews are responding now. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heavy equipment working in here over the next several hours, uh, and it will bring specialists in to make sure that you know from an engineering perspective that when you look at this building, uh, you, as you can see, it, it really hasn't been uh, been maintained very well. But we just it's tough to know what's underneath until we get in there and and get a good look. And the water and gas, um, 
being shut off, does that affect that building next door? Did they lose their water again? So actually it comes in in two directions. So they have not lost their water. Uh, we'll, we'll bring a fire watch in because we've shut down the fire protection uh, for these buildings. So we'll have, we'll have a fire watch here to make sure that, you know, got some, something did happen, that there was someone on scene to make a notification uh, as soon as possible. Do you know who's going to be responsible for these repairs? Will it be the building owner or the, the water company? You know, you know that's 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 really a question uh, that we can't answer at this particular time. You know, uh, and, and again, uh, it, it it appears it's water, but it could be. Remember, the the, the lateral lines come in uh, from the street to the building, so that would be the responsibility uh, of of the owner. So, again, until that's really assessed and we come up with uh, you know what the cause is. It, be very difficult to say at this point who's responsible, but our goal is going to be, you know, just getting people back to normalcy, getting this building up and running. That's really going to be our primary concern. Have you ever seen something like this where it's just gotten bigger and bigger, just you know, standing there? You know, we, we've we've seen sinkholes many times, all of us. Oh, that is an update there on a sinkhole caused by a water main break. And if you're just joining us, that sinkhole is still getting bigger. They think it's about 18 feet by about, uh, I think, 5 to 8 feet and maybe 8 feet deep. So here's hoping it does not continue to grow.